go ahead and get started all right one two three go what's up my people welcome to my youtube channel the kenyan american home and tv uh whichever you're watching me from and uh you know if this is your first time here welcome karibu sana karibu sana karibu sana welcome and uh you know feel free to hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell and you'll get notified every time we upload a new video so today we're talking about uh we're talking about canada but we're also talking you know we're talking about uh employers who have you know because every single quarter what the canadian government does is it publishes the list of all the employers who have a positive lmia yeah. and lmia is a is a is a labor market uh, impact assessment so it's for you to be able to get a job inside of canada one of the ways that you you know you can get you can get a job uh, a temporary you know uh, a, a job in canada as a you know with a with a with a temporary uh, temporary residence uh, visa is to get an employer that has a positive lmia you get jobs that have you know jobs that have lmias attached to them that can be an, a way that you can be able to you know apply for the job get the job offer after you get the job offer you know uh you get the opportunity to apply for a work permit that you can then uh work on to finally you know get your get your permanent residency in in Canada when you, you know when you come through this way the LMA that you know the the work permit that you get is a closed work permit it's a closed work permit that means you you know you kind of you kind of have to work with that particular employer you work with that particular employer uh for the you know for the duration for the duration of your of your work permit and there but it's it's you know it's one of the ways that you can be able to transition from having a visit visa to to getting your you know to getting your permanent residency getting a permanent residency so visit visa apply for the you know apply for the job get the work permit after you get the work permit you, you know you work after that and then accumulate some time apply for the for the permanent residency and then life goes on life goes on canada is uh would i say compared canada and the us transitioning but it just really does it, it does depend with each individual some people have a hard time you know moving from a visit visa to a work visa or a, from a visit visa to a permanent residency in canada or well, some people have you know have an easier way of moving from a visit visa in the us to a green card it, it really does depend with uh sometimes luck sometimes connection sometimes great information which is a lot of times it is great information when you have good information that will help you move quickly from your visitor visa to you staying staying in the country that you're that you're visiting let me talk about one thing that is often i think it's a it's a it's a miscommunication that goes out when people land in Canada with a visit visa. There's a lot of people land in Canada with a visit visa. And what people are telling them because you know Canada compared to the US is processing it's processing uh, asylums way faster than US is. And there's often this communication, you know, there's often this communication this miscommunication that people say Oh, when you get there, you know, uh, just give yourself up. Which, even though Canada might be quick in processing this, it also has another disadvantage to it because the burden of proof, and this this happens whether in the U.S. or in Canada, the burden of proof for an asylum case is you need to prov you need to convince them, you need to have evidence that convinces them that whatever you're saying you know whatever your case is that your life you know whether it's your life you it's it's in real danger you need to convince them for you to finally give you the uh, grant you grant you your asylum and then you can move on to you know getting your getting your your permanent residency and and then uh as you move along some years later getting your citizenship people are people are sometimes almost pushed into that because they don't have information on what can you do with a visit visa in Canada you know up until 
uh, I think it's February of uh, next away, oh, we're not 2024, of, uh, of 2025. Canada has, you know, there's this policy that's still open that gives you the opportunity to go to Canada and change your visit visa into something else, whether it's changing your visit visa into your student visa, changing your visit visa into, into a work visa. Canada right now has a policy that accepts that, accepts that. But if someone tells you, because I've seen so many people online, and especially some, you know, some some uh, celebrities going online talking about this, it is a very risky way to go about it, especially if your case is not genuine. If your case is genuine, genuine that's, that's a totally different thing. Because then you'll go and you'll be able to prove that your case is genuine and you know, that happens, and it happens for you quicker, uh, faster, faster, quicker. It happens for you faster in Canada than it probably does in, in the U.S. In the U.S., it takes about 180, uh, you'll get your, you know, your work permit in 180 days. Uh, in, in Canada, you know, it takes, it takes, it, it just, they do it faster. It, it takes less than <coughs> the number of time, the number of uh, days it takes in the U.S. Because in the U.S., you have to at least wait for at least 150 days for then you can apply for the work permit and then you know after another 30 days then they can be able to give you a work permit that's 180 days to get your work permit canada is happening faster but as i told you on the other side of things is if your case is not strong that means you're closer to deportation than anything else and that's been the case that has been happening in canada so many people have so many people have, have, have kind of gotten into that trap and they've just, you know, they've just filed for asylum and their case, cases are not genuine. And then what ends up happening is they end up getting deported. And because the Canadian process is going faster, you end up getting deported as soon as, as soon as, as soon as they can, as soon as they can. So that is, I would not, I, I, I would not recommend for anybody to go that direction. If you want to stay, if you want to change your visit visa to, if you want to change your visit visa legally, I will not, if, especially if you don't have a genuine case for asylum, please don't go there. Don't make up stuff. Don't make up stuff because you end up making it more impossible for people with genuine cases. Because then if, you know, all these people are coming in and they're having all these cases that are not real cases, you make it harder for people who have genuine cases because there's there are people who have genuine cases and they're running away from you know, they're running away from their home countries for whatever reason whether it's you know whether it's their race or nationality or they belong to a social group or you know uh, so or it's you know or it's something political so please stay away from that and let's focus on you know let's focus on some of the ways you some some of the other better ways other better ways you can you can join school you can join school in Canada you know for people often say schools are very expensive. Yeah, I know schools are very expensive, but there's also different levels of schools. And also, you know, where a school is located, sometimes how big a school is kind of goes hand in hand with uh, determining this, this is, you know, the school fees that you have to pay. What ends up happening is, you know, community colleges are cheaper than universities. And so sometimes if you, if you go through the community college route, you'll end up paying less than if you go to the university route. But, it, you know, they all lead because you can, you know, you can go to the community college, get your, you know, get your diploma. And then after that, you can, you can move on to, you know, to the university and finish your degree. And so you can choose to go the route of uh, community colleges because there's community colleges. But, you, you know, there's also, uh, you can also, there's also vocational schools. There's schools that teach people very, you know, handy jobs, like, Blue collar jobs, blue collar jobs, blue collar jobs. Things like truck driving, you know. Uh, you can go to school and become, you know, study to become a plumber, study to become an electrician. I've done, I've done, you know, I've done videos on, you know, on these topics and shared some of the schools in Canada that will help you with that. You know, whether it's truck driving or plumbing on you know, that. Those videos are in my YouTube channel. These are legal ways for you to change your visit visa. Okay. And then, so that school, you know, there's marriage. Marriage also happens, you know, if, if you fall in love with somebody, that can be a way. Some people have changed their visit visa to, you know, through marriage, through marriage. Through marriage, there's, you know, 
uh, pro, uh, and then there's a work visa which covers a lot of things. You know, a, a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, categories under here when it, you know when it comes to the work visa. Comes to the work visa. And then we talked about the asylum and the humanitarian grounds. That the to- that, I mean, I would I would say avoid that if that's not your case. And then focus on now what we're going to be talking about, which is the work visa. Work visa can be applying uh, for you know. Finding employers who have an LMA, a labor market impact assessment. Labor market impact assessment allows, you know, it kind of gives, it, it's you're kind of making the case of, I, you know, I have to hire this, these foreigners because there's a shortage of people in Canada who can be able to do this job. Or, there's, you know, I don't have the expertise in, you know, there's not the, I, I don't have the expertise here in Canada for, you know, people doing this job. And so I really need those foreigners to come, you know, and, and that it's Canada, um, you know, Canada, America, Canada, US, we, it's, it's the land of the, you know, immigrants. There's a lot of immigrants in the US, a lot of, it's the, the backbone. They need more people because, you know, Canada, because of the weather and all those things, they, people tend to move away from Canada because of the weather. Canada, a lot of Canada is in, inhabited, uninhabited, there's, yeah, they need more people. That's what they've constantly said is they need more people. They have an older generation, you know, they need to replace their their workers and all that stuff. And so suffice to say, work visa is one of the ways that you can change to you can change your visit visa. But you know, there's also uh, some provinces they do have like they, they uh, the government gives them provincial nominations. Like if you have, you know, if you have a, a province in Canada that is having a major shortage of uh, caregivers major shortage of, uh, you know, bus drivers, major shortage of whatever. They are given provincial nomination and they're kind of they're given an opportunity to hire foreigners to come and take care of that shortage. So that's like the province, provincial nominations. But I'll, I'll tackle the LMIA. So for you to be able to change from a visit visa to a work visa through, you know, uh, uh, through this temporary, you know, temporary... Uh, yeah, temporary visa. You need to find a job, and that job needs to have an LMA, a positive LMA. Okay, and and then you can what you do is you apply to that particular job. After you apply to that job, you're given the offer, and you know to get the offer, you start the process of applying for a work visa. Applying for a work visa. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know sometimes you end up in, you know, you end up like a lot of people are ending up in Canada. And a lot of them, because either you're using agencies, agencies don't prepare you for life in Canada. Because sometimes what they tell you out there about how it looks is very different than things on the ground. Things on the ground, they are very different. Oftentimes they tell you, oh, you'll get there and you it's just the land of milk and honey. But things, the reality on the ground is things are different. Things are different. And you might need to work a little bit harder for you to, you know, for you to change it. But it's it's not, no, it's not not doable. It's very doable. It's very doable. What I, you know, so there's, there's uh, I'll, talk, I'll talk about the work visas, the LMIA, LMIA things. But so with a, with a visit visa, you have six months of stay, you know, they give you, you go, you, you apply for the Canada visit visa, depending on your passport. If your passport is valid for 10 years, they'll give you the 10 years multi-entry. Okay. Once you get the 10 years multi-entry, you can only stay in Canada for a maximum of six months. So same thing as the US. After the six months, uh, you know, you're supposed to ca- kind of have exited before your six months is over. But if your intention is to stay, what happens? And these people don't know about this you can actually extend your visit visa. If you're having a hard time struggling to find a job, you can extend your visit visa. What does that mean? That means then you're not out of status. You know, so then you keep you keep your status open, but you, keep, you give yourself more room to find a job. You know, a job that has, you know, an LMIA, a job that has LMIA that will help you change your visit visa to your work visa. And also too, if maybe you've applied, these things take time. You know, if you've applied, if you're on a visit visa and you've applied uh, for your work visa, 
three, during this process, you can also extend your you can also extend your visit visa. That way, you're still, you know, you're still in still in status. Now, when you extend a visit visa, please don't exit, because an extension getting a you know getting getting an extension uh, is different than your original. So please, please don't don't exit if, if your intention is to stay, stay because you've extended it. You've, you'll have more time to look for jobs, more time to look for for schools and and what have you and what have you. Okay, are we together until that point? Anybody with a question for the process until there? There's nothing that is easy, by the way. If you're looking for an easy Easy, easy, easy is not in the immigration process from Africa to North America. If you're looking for easy, my friend, you're looking in the wrong place. There's nothing easy. Even when you get your, your if you get your person, you get somebody and you get married to them, the, the process is still tedious. You get a DV, you get, it is still tedious. There's nothing easy, man. So easy, throw it out of the conversation. If you're looking for easy, then stay stay, stay where, wherever you are. But if you're coming here, you have to be willing to, yeah, you have to fold your shirt, my friend, and work for it. It is not easy. It is not easy for an immigrant. But, it, the, you know, once you get here and you're able to fold your shirt and do it, man, things start to happen. One thing start to happen your life changes. Your life changes because it's, you know, North America, there's a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities. So I want to stop there and ask if there's any questions before I jump into, you know, I jump into, into other things. Into other things. I'll talk about flag bowling, I think, towards the end. <laughs> but, uh, some people have often talked about flag bowling on a visit visa, but very dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. And I'll explain to you what, what flag polling is. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 used in there's there's some good instances where you can use flag polling, but our people and their creativity have been using flag polling uh, as a way to change their visit visas. It's risky. It's risky, but it is our people. Ah yeah. So no questions up until that time. We jump into jump into Nini, jump into LMI jobs and finding jobs. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Going once, going twice, going three. Ah, yeah. Let's go on. Uh, oh, people are asking about bank statements and applications. Ah, yeah. I, I let I let that continue. Ah, yeah. People who are in Canada already with a visit visa. And you are applying for jobs with Indeed and Job Bank. Eh? As much as it is very good to do that, Canada from the ground, eh, it is not easy to get, it is not easy to get responses through Indeed or Job Bank. I don't know how Canada works, but it, it kind of like the situation on the ground is like in the US. Indeed, Zip Recruiter, you get jobs. That's how I've always applied for jobs. Very easy. You get, you know, they either tell you, okay, we've decided to go a different direction, or they call you for interviews. In Canada, man, so many people. You see, people, even people who are already in Canada and they and they have work, they have work permits. They complain. They they are complaining that. Uh, go to all those job boards and stuff because they have like face group, Facebook groups that have, you know, so some of the places that you can find, uh, you can find these jobs are in, you can find them in the Facebook, Facebook groups. There are groups like, you know, jobs, cash jobs in whatever, in whatever, maybe you are in Kelowna, in, you know, you're in Kelowna in British Columbia, or you are in Calgary, in, you know, in Alberta, or, you know, you're somewhere in Saskatchewan. Or you are in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, or you are in, you know, Toronto, Ontario, or Ottawa. You know, you are in Quebec. Uh, so uh, Quebec, Quebec, potato, 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 potato. Depending on wherever you are, there are Facebook Facebook groups that have that 
kind of are targeted towards that particular community. You can join those groups if you're already in Canada and maybe you are in, you know, you're in a, a certain city in, you know, in Ontario. Just join these, look for Facebook, group, Facebook groups that have jobs in that area. Sometimes they give you options for cash jobs or people looking for, you know, I'm looking for somebody to, you know, I'm looking for, um, uh, for someone to hire, uh, all those things. All those things you can find them in the Facebook group. I've uh, I've I've shared about Craigslist. You know, if you haven't seen that video, it's already here. Craigslist is a lifesaver for so many things. Craigslist is a is a lifesaver for finding uh, rooms. People who have rooms to rent because sometimes you don't have you don't have a uh, you don't have the financial muscle or you know to be able to get your own apartment. But sometimes. Through Craigslist, you can get people who are renting renting a room. You can rent a room for so much cheaper than getting your own apartment while you establish yourself. Or Craigslist also gives you the option to find for cash jobs that are available that you know will give you some pocket money. And 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 yeah. So so that's like finding or like there's job bank and then there's indeed these are all ways to find the jobs. But in Canada, man, in Canada, Craigslist is faster. Facebook group might be, but I think I have also had a lot of people complaining about Facebook groups that, you know, these people never respond and stuff. But indeed, job bank, man, I have had people sending in 50, 100 applications. Nothing. Nobody is responding. Nobody. When you're applying for these jobs. Now, let me tell you on the ground what you need to do. Show up. If you find a job and you apply for it, show up in person. Show up, you know, present yourself. Just you know, sometimes out of sight, out of mind, but also, you know, I think maybe it's it's super cold in Canada that the computers are uh, freezing. They are not uh, delivering your, your applications. But show up, show up in these places. Ask, by the way, uh, my name is so-and-so and I had applied for uh, this position and I haven't, you know, I haven't, I haven't had and I'll, I'll really be excited to, to work for you. This sometimes taking the initiative to show up will, will give you a better chance of getting a response versus just sending, you know, sending an application there at the comfort of your desk. So move around, man, move. Because sometimes you can even go to that particular job and ask them, by the way, me, I'm looking for a job. Yeah? And if that particular, and if they're like, okay, uh, when we might not be able to get to that until this time, you can ask them. By the way, do you know of somebody else who's hiring? It is networking, my friend. Networking is way better than sitting at the comfort of your desk waiting for things to happen. You go make things happen. This is, yeah, you go make things. You don't just, you don't just sit down and wait. You go make things happen. Ah, yeah. The other thing, the other way you can make things happen is on top of going and, knock and, and going to these places that you're applying for jobs is... You can also use temp agencies. Another video that I've done. Temp agencies are temporary agencies that are looking, you know, what happens is an employer. This works in the U.S. as well. If you're in the U.S. You're struggling to get a job, use temp agencies. Temp agencies work this way. Temp agency and the employer, and then there's you in the middle. All right? So what happens is some employers don't want to take the risk of taking an employee training them, investing time and resources in them, you know, pouring, because training an employee is, it, it, quite, it can be quite expensive. It takes a lot of time and resources. And for you to be able to invest in this new person that way, and then down the line, maybe a month, this guy is, you find that he's a terrible employee. So instead of, you know, making that big of a commitment to somebody that you don't know whether they're going to work out or they're not, and it, it happens a lot here, you know, in North America. Man, some people are some people are lazy. They are like, you know, their resumes look good, but they cannot do the job. They come in and it's like, wow. People can lie in their resumes. And it's not until they start working, then you realize, wow. So you said you can do this, but you actually cannot even do anything. And so instead of the employer jumping in and investing in, in an employee, and pouring into them, what they do is they find a temp agency. And with a temp agency, they have a contract. 
they say to the temp agency, okay, you know, we're looking for this person who has this and this and this qualification. Find us that person. And then now the temp agency is empowered to go find employ, you know, go find employees who have those particular qualifications that the employer is looking for. So now the temp agencies interviews you. They, you know, they help you. Now the temp agency, your relationship with the temp agency is the temp agency doesn't get paid until you get employed. So for them, they have to find you a job. That's how they get paid. So they are motivated, extra motivated to find you a job because they find you a job, they get, you know, there's a contract they have with the, with the employer. They get paid a, they get paid a portion, and you as an employee, you get paid, you get paid your, your salary. So they are motivated to help you find a job. Temp agencies, people don't know about it. One of the easier ways that you can, especially if you're if, you, if there's this one big organization that you've always wanted to work for, and you've tried applying directly, and they are not giving you any. You don't. You always get the denial uh, letters. Temp agencies can be a good way for you to get your foot in, because once you get your foot in, you can be able to prove to to their employers that you can actually, you know, you you hire me. I am actually I am a, I'm a good employee. And then boom. Now what you, what happens is once you get a job, the the temp agency help temp agencies help helps you get a job is you you have a contract a lot of them are like 90 day 90 day contracts so you start now you you the temp agencies is paying you but you're working for the employer so you go to the employer as an employee but you know as as an employee of the of the particular employer you're working for but your paychecks are coming from the temp agency coming from the temp agency so you go do your go Show you know, show your work ethic, your discipline, showing up on time and doing the job. And I promise you, a lot of times you don't even finish the 90-day contract. Because if an employer sees you are a hard worker, you, you have good work ethic, they will buy your contract out. That's what a lot of things that it happens. I've used a temp agency, and at the minute I got into that company, it was a big company that I wanted to get into. I got in there and I I, I worked my tail off. Worked my tail off. The employer, it did not even finish 15 days because the employer could see, wow, this person, we, we don't want this person. We don't want to lose this because it's hard to get good employable people. It's hard to get good employees. Within 15 days, they had bought out my contract, my 90 day. And I was, I, I, I was hired full time in that particular company. You see, I saw this big company. I really wanted to work for it, get that experience, went through a temp agency, got the job. I went in there. I did my I did my job. The employer hired me, and now you've got a job. You've got everything you need. That's temp agencies trying to tell you about better ways to find for jobs, because sitting at your desk and sometimes just sending all these applications, my friend, you can wait and you will wait. And people have waited. It's like you hear people, oh, I came in August. I haven't gotten a job until December. Why? You ask them, they'll, you'll come to realize, oh, the reason is because they are waiting at the comfort. You're waiting for things to happen, miracles to happen for you. Ah, yeah. So now when it comes to finding a job and, you know, and you, 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 you want to apply for a job in, you know, in Job Bank and, and, and Indeed or Zip Recruiter, whichever you're applying for, you know, whichever... <laughs> Uh, Nixon Mumani is telling you, I have done 120 plus applications in Indeed, and just only three responded. Can you imagine even in Wal even Walmart in Canada never responds after advertising in Indeed? That is the reality, and it, it, it is the reality in Canada. It's a to it's a totally different reality in the US. US they hire people based US they hire people based of Indeed and Zip recruiters. But in Canada, you will send, my friend, you will send this. So for you, who has been doing this, sending applications and not doing anything, my friend, you will keep beating that drum until you are old. And you, you know, and you, and you clock. So the other thing I want to talk to, I want to talk to people who are back in Kenya. Doing the same thing. 
No. Now, can you imagine? The people in Canada looking for these jobs are kind of having the same issues of applying and not, them not responding. Now, let, go, let's go back to somebody in Kenya. You are in, you are already outside of Canada. And all you do is to keep applying for these jobs. My friend, I'm here to just tell you the easier way, it is not easy. But your best chances lie in apply for the visit visa. And then when you land in Canada, you find a way to change your visit visa into the work visa. Because unless maybe you're talking about highly skilled, you know, and those, uh, those are like things like, you know, direct, uh, direct entries, highly specialized, highly skilled professions. If you're talking about that, that's totally different. But my friend, you're talking about, you're applying for a job to, you know, like to work in a, in a, in a farm or a caregiver or, you know, a, an unskilled position. My friend, are you there? In Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, sending resume, sending, you know, applying for all these jobs, my friend, you will keep applying. Yeah? And Ruto, Ruto, the, Ruto the fifth will become another president and the time will roll before you, you get any traction. And your time is running out because you have until at least, I don't know if the, the other government that's going to come into Canada, they are going to extend this policy of giving you the opportunity to change your visit visa. So please, the, it is the easier way. Go through the visitor. Once you go through the visitor, and with all this information that I'm giving you, you can be able to change. Otherwise, my friend, uh, yeah, it's, I, I can tell you, your chances of getting into Canada with an unskilled position and applying for jobs are this much. If you are applying from home, work visa, my friend. So, yeah, because it's not easy to changing visit visa. Now let's jump into, you're in Canada now, because I have tried, I have given you, uh, educated you to stop applying from home and apply for your visit visa. And I've already shown you the video here on YouTube, how you can go ahead and apply for that. You you are landing here. Mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I, just even before landing here, and you, you don't want school, you marriage has yeah, but also too this planning. people, my people plan, Aki. People will plan. That's why I discourage agents because agents will they they it is being it is you being lazy, paying somebody to do everything for you. Man, this agency, they the agents, they will <laughs> they will discombobulate your life, my friend. Because you land here. And you expect, because they tell you, oh, I know, I know, I'll get you a job. But my friend, as soon as you, you panda that flight, as soon as you're on that flight, the, the agent is already washing their hands. I've gotten you into Canada. Now, you're on your own. And because you are lazy to just pay and sit back for someone to do your process, you land in Canada, now you're having to panic. Guy, there's nobody picking me up at the airport. Guy, Jesus, yeah? Oh, my host is not answering me. Yeah? What am I going to do? You start to panic. And that is that is when I get inboxes. Guy, help me. Help me. Oh, you can an American home. Help me. I'm in here in Canada, struggling, stranded. Those are the people that you get and you are in a different country that you have no idea because you did not take the time to learn about the country you're going to. Those are, those are the people sleeping on the streets. Why? Because they landed thinking, oh, this process is very easy. All I have to do is sell all my belongings, my house, my, my land, my building, my everything, and pay this individual. This individual is going to deliver me into Canada and into money. And my life will never be the same again, my friend. Think twice. Because you will be brought back to factory settings. And that is what has happened to a lot of people coming here with agents. You land in Canada. You get, <laughs> you are taken back to factory settings. Because the things on the ground are very different, my friend. You need information. Yeah? Now, 
now you are struggling. Now you just landed. You're like, oh my gosh. That is why you panic into going into asylum because people land there and they're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then the first person you are, where go, go, go tell them. Yeah, go tell them FGM. Go tell them Mungik. Go tell them, hey, MCA Kaput, you now go home because uh, they gone pew pew you and <laughs> I'm out of that. But um, I help you guys and I help. It is good. Invest in good information. Ah, yeah. Now let's jump to the, emplo the employer. So every every quarter, the uh, IRCC kind of publishes a list of all the, all the, all the employers who you know they've they've applied you know they've applied they have a positive they they were issued with a positive uh, labor market impact a positive lma this can be a good way for you to kind of know okay uh if i you know if i'm in this particular province there's this particular employers that usually apply for lma for people that is a good indication for you to be like okay i have more chances with this employer because they actually have applied for an LMIA for somebody and it's been approved. So now let's jump into let's jump into this thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Julie Chege. Julie Chege says. Uh, Julie Chege, I can attest that changing visit visa to work visa in Canada is not a walk in the park. It's actually next to impossible. It's just as easy. Uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. Yeah, you need good information. You need good information. You, go, you need good information. Momba from Pretoria. Ah, yeah. let me share this. Uh, let me share this thing. Let me share this thing. Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. So, so, so this is this is quarter one, twenty twenty three. Quarter one, twenty twenty three. This was published in uh, in March. It's published in March of 2023. March 31st, 20. So these are the employers who, let me see, maybe make this one. These are the employers who, so what this list does, and I'll give you the link on this, uh, I'll give you the link on uh, where you can find this information. But it gives you the province. Uh, maybe let me make this bold. It gives you the province, and it gives you the program. Uh, the program, uh, program what? Program stream. So if it's a high wage, a low wage. Uh, so a high wage is more, more, more. What do you call? It? There's more skill needed. Low wage are uh, you know things that are kind of unspecialized, unspecialized. But can you see me, Stephen Kinyang? I cannot see you. <laughs> I cannot see you. <laughs> ah, yeah. So the province, uh, the employer, the occupation, you know, uh, we don't want the address, so I'll hide the address again there. And then it'll tell you to, one of the things it'll, it'll tell you, it'll, it'll tell you whether, so they, they've applied for, uh, applied for one LMIA and it was approved. Approved. What's this? Uh, approved LMIA. Oh, approved LMIAs. Uh, let me see. Oh, approved LMIA and approved positions. Ah, yeah. So, I don't know how many people are going to Newfoundland. Newfoundland is kind of, it's rural. And I haven't I haven't met somebody who is from who went to Canada and went to Newfoundland. It can act so by the way, if you are in Newfoundland, because I'm sure there's a Kenyan in Newfoundland, if you are in Newfoundland in Canada, please man, please tell us. Tell us how is Newfoundland in Labrador. Please tell us. Oh, I would love to interview you. I have never met somebody who's in the Newfoundland and uh, Labrador province in Canada. So please, please reach out, hey, reach out. Aye. So let's move from Newfoundland because I, I, I don't think there's a big market here. 
for Newfoundland. And then there's also another province is Prince Edward Island. Again, I don't know anybody in Prince Edward Island. Don't know anybody in Prince Edward Island. Ah, yeah. let's keep let's keep moving. But you'll notice, man. Look at look at this. Look at look at this job. Here. Look at this company here. And maybe jumping, maybe jumping is is not a good idea. Because look at this company here. It's called Vanco Farms. This is working in a farm. Vanco Farms, and what I'll do is I'll actually bring it up. I'll share with you. Let's, yeah, actually, it's not a, I don't think it's a very good idea to jump because by jumping, we miss, we'll miss very good information. Or oh, get interview with uh, Joyce Nas Canada. Ah, ah yeah. so Prince Edward Island, there's this company called Vanco Farms. It applies general farm workers. And they have like 104 LMIA approved. 104 LMIA approved positions. Okay, let's let's go look at let's go look at that particular nini. <coughs> let's go look at that particular. Uh, let me stop share because maybe maybe jumping passing on it is not a good idea. Actually, it actually be helpful to somebody if we go do that. So let's look at this company here, Vanco Farms. All right. So you jump into Vanco Farms and you see they, 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 they do potatoes and they do tulips. So these are flowers and potatoes. Let's jump into potatoes. Let's go into the potatoes. So Vanco Farms, potatoes, kind of gives you, okay, so this is Vanco Farms. It specializes in specialty potatoes, organic potatoes, premium cut tulips. It's family owned. So this is a family. And uh, they are saying they're industrial, industrial leaders. Gives you information about them. They're in Prince Edward. Do they give you contact us? So it gives you a team. You can go to the team. You can see. So these people you'll see it's their family. See their last name is the same. Probably brothers. Probably brothers. And then they have so they have all these people who this look like they're also this is looks like it's a family too so those are the people but their contacts are there so and they have locations yeah looks like they're in prince edward they have palming uh so they do have a lot of locations. They do have a lot of locations. And sometimes it's like some of these people is just calling them and finding out. Finding out. Oh, careers. Okay. Let's look at careers. So when you look at careers, you have current, uh, they have a farm worker. Oh, let me see. So they have this position. It opens up as a PDF. Uh, Vanco Farms, they have shipper receiver packaging. Shipper receiver packaging. Okay, specializes in whatever, and then kind of gives you the, you know, the positions. It tells you the wage rate is 15 to 17 per hour based on, so you get a full, oh, let me make it bigger for you guys to see. So this is a, this is a backdoor way of looking for jobs. Back to the way of looking for jobs. So because you know this company already, it has like 104 LMIA positions approved. So you go through the back door. Go through the back door and get, so position, you see it's a shipper receiver and all, it tells you the responsibility, you'll be packaging in a storage facility, skills, 
you're able to lift up to 50 pounds uh, what is 50 pounds to kgs to pounds kgs to pounds uh, if you're able to lift 22 kgs you're able to lift 22 kgs you can use a forklift you know so people who are you know who are heavy equipment operators see heavy equipment operators direct experience in shipping receiving you're focusing on safety organization skill effective communication so you see it tells you here the wage rate is it's not too much 15 to 17 but again what you're interested in is a is a work permit so don't don't worry too much about how much they're paying because a lot of uh, uh, wait, let me see interested applicants can forward their resumes to the attention of Aaron Jose Human Resources gives you their gives you their email that you can forward their their nini you can forward their the CV and it tells you hours of work vary dependent on customer orders flexibility to work days as well as working evenings and Saturdays would be required so there you have it there you have it. So, you know, that's Prince Edward. Let's look at another one. Let's look at another one in, uh, go back to the list. I think, yeah, it probably was a, it wasn't a very good idea to skip on, skip on them. Let's look at, let's look at them. Even Newfoundland, yeah, even Newfoundland. Let's, let's go to Newfoundland. Uh, oh yeah, let's share presenter share screen they only accept people from the caribbean in the farm workers program farm workers program julia samson julia samson only accept you know, there's there's a thing called man. There's a thing called rules, and you can always talk your way. This and these are the things. These are the things that you can always find a way. It is North America. Just because they say it that way doesn't mean that it's all. It's always that way. There's always a loophole, my friend. If you're looking for, they're looking for, they're looking for, uh, um, they're looking for workers. Yeah. Me, I got a scholarship that was meant for Russian Ukrainian students in the US. That's what they had said in their brochures. Russia's Russian Ukrainian students. One of the things you have to understand is, man, some of these places, as long as you can go explain yourself, you can be able to jump over the hoop. Another example I can give you the school that I went to, they told me for you to do a master's in accountancy. You need to have a GMAT. But what did I do? I went to the dean's office and I sat with the dean. Everybody who had enrolled in that particular program, they had done a GMAT. I did not do a GMAT. I went into the office of the dean and I was able to argue my case why I do not need to do a GMAT. And she went, took my case to the board and the board approved. He doesn't need to do a GMAT. I did not do a GMAT. Again, you know, there's all, the, sometimes, you know, Kenya is like this way in terms of, oh, they tell you you can, but here, there's always a thing about express yourself. Don't always limit your, be the first person to jump into that. But it it is not, it, 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 is, it is not only just about uh, farming, the farming program. These, these jobs are all over the place. So that, that was just one example, Vanco Farms, that I used on, that was farming. But again, don't be stopped, my friend. Don't be stopped. All right, let's move on. I think that is, that took some of my energy. Some of my energy, man. All right. Uh, let's do uh, Newfoundland. Newfoundland, let's look for one with a, So there's a lot of fishing in Labrador. So there's fisheries. There's fisheries. 
uh, a lot of fishing, fishing plant workers, seafood. Ah, yeah. Barry Group looks like a Barry Group looks like a big a big company in Newfoundland. And some of these things, if you don't try, you don't try. And then we'll we'll keep moving to we'll keep moving to provinces that people are aware of. Maya. So let me share Newfoundland. Barry Group. So Barry Group is uh fishing. So it's a seafood, exporting top quality seafood around the world. Seafood around the world. So they have their seafood there. They have lobsters, crab, shrimp, cod, herring, mackerel, a squid, uh, blue, uh, blue mussel, a halibut, uh, capelin, uh, ocean perch, fish meal, and fish oil. Okay, so this one looks like they specialize in fishing. And then if we go to about... Uh, so like this looks like a big Barry Group is a is a big fish it is a big it's a family company too but it's a big company that has that does a lot of fishing fishing shipping seafood to forty countries worldwide worldwide uh, products standards history contact do, 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 do. again and I don't know why they have ah. Uh, NL. So I mean they do have an email. If you want to go and check out, you no. Know, want to go and check out again. You know, you're applying to all these places. You're not applying to one place. Send an email. Who says who says you can't get a job? Send an email, man. Express yourself. Express yourself. Express yourself. Don't listen. Don't listen to people sometimes. Some people will mislead you. History. Uh, standards. Uh, quality, blah, blah, blah. Ah, yeah. so this one looks like they're not giving you the link on careers. Bar. So and the point here is finding a backdoor to, you know, like, you know, this, you know, this company has applied for so many LMIAs. What does that mean? It, it means it, there's, you know, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, where, that's a good somewhere, a, a good company to start. That has a lot of, uh, a lot of jobs available. I, so, so that's a uh, body group, but there's, so you'll notice too that they are like everywhere from high wage, so like administrative assistants to senior managers and, you know, financial specialist physicians, uh, university professors and lecturers, food service supervisors, material handlers, hairstylists and barbers, retail sales supervisors, uh, a lot of fishing, you know, store clerk, uh, truck drivers. So people who are asking for truck drivers, this one, the Atlantic grocery distributors. Let me see whether they have a job. People who are asking for truck driving. Because. But in some of this, Nini, so this is after, I mean, you go get your, get your license. Careers. Oh, yeah, they do have a, so like this one has an open position. No, it's in Newfoundland, but it has an open position. Stop, share. Guess we'll be doing a lot of stop share and sharing. Ah, yeah. This is the Atlantic grocery distribution. Atlantic grocery distribution. Ah, yeah. So they are in uh, Newfoundland. And then if you come uh, here, so tells you they have about 250 people. If you have experience or education in inside and outside sales. So you see here, purchasing, marketing, business management, IT, 
uh, send your please send your resume. Please forward your resume and cover letter to this particular. Nini. So if you are if you're into truck driving, warehouse operation, maintenance, accounting, admin, occupational health, the IT, business management, marketing, purchasing, you send them, send them a CV. So right now they have a class one driver position that is open. Class one driver. And uh, ah, yeah. so tells you about the qualifications. You need a high school. So if you finish high school, diploma. You have a diploma from a recognized training institute or equivalent, certificate of good conduct, uh, driver's abstract, and then you have to hold a valid class one driver, driving license. It says you must be eligible to work in Canada. Eligible to work in Canada. But again, I mean, that the, I think this was just one, Nini. The best thing you can do is just send them. Send them a Nini. Send them a... Send them a resume and a cover letter. Ah, yeah. Okay. Let's move on to let's move on to other provinces that are well better known. Ah, so, so. Okay, fifty. So Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia. I know there's I know Kenyans in Nova Scotia, so this is uh And you see, you know, so like this company, Nova Scotia Limited, they are, they, you know, they are looking for, they, they like, they applied for LMIAs for roofers and shinglers, admin assistants and business development officers. So you can see here, like, you know, they have three positions. They have three positions for, for roofers and uh, roofers, people, these are people in construction. Let me see. I'm, I think I, I'll pick one that has a lot more position. That have construction. So it looks like Nova Scotia. A lot of the positions are in construction. So laborers, bakers. So as a baker, one position, one LMIA. So as the LMIA for carpenters, East Water Professional Roofing Service. Let's look at that one. Yeah. So again, this is working from the back door, working from the back door to get these jobs. And I, I tell you, if you are able to like find this, because this, this, this list will give you the address. See you? So you'll see, okay, you're looking at Eastwater Company, this Eastwater Roofing. It'll give you the address give you the address that is hidden right now and you can actually be able to go to that particular employer because you know they have three positions that were approved for LMIA so yeah and just to go back to cl to clarify these are approved LMIAs and so and these are the approved positions so these are the number of positions that they can hire with that LMIA so it's been approved. And this one was completed. This is in the in the in the Q Q well, this Q1. So you can go to the list and look at Q3. And most probably those uh Q3 ended in around September. Most probably those Nini they haven't been able to hire. They haven't been able to hire people. So these are probably positions that are still available. Billy Graham, I think, on a you are using a kabambe. You are using a kabambe. Ah, yeah. So I think I was looking at uh, Eastwater Professional Roofing. Let me. Eastwater Professional Roofing Services Limited. Uh, Nova Scotia. 
some of this might not even have websites. It's true for me. Uh, actually, let me look at let me look at the address to make sure that it is the actual nini I'm looking at. So Eastwater is the address is Yarmouth. Yarmouth uh, B B five A five H eight. So that's not it. It's not it. So, the, but but you do have. I mean, you do have the address. So, if you want to go to that place, you can go. Let's look for another one. Uh, Irving Shipbuilding. Uh, Irving Shipbuilding Inc. Irving Shipbuilding Inc. in Nova Scotia. talk about the weather it's cold there's nothing to talk about the weather it's cold you just have to dress warmly ah, okay let's look at ship this one here mm. well you're moving to Canada you're not worried about the weather my friend it is cold just dress warmly will make you feel warm it's cold in Canada, Nova Scotia, yeah. but it is some of those places that are cold. Are, some of those places that are easier to get that. Nini. Once you get that work visa, then you can hopefully move to a warmer place. So this is Irving Shipbuilding. Man, this this one's they specialize in like shipbuilding. They have they do have a do have a lot of you see some of those thin in and they like so so like this one you see it's a black person on their cover hmm? they sometimes companies they can tell you so much on you know you go to their website you look at the website and you see this lady here yeah, working at a uh, Irving ship building so there's professional roles as you know as you as we saw in the in that list the skilled trades so uh here yeah, let's let's search by position maybe so if you uh, if you come here you look at their their jobs look at their jobs here yeah this, this looks like Kamau, this one here. You see, he looks like Kamau. Kamau, Kamau. All right, so, so we know for sure they have, we know for sure they have four because we checked on the list. Uh, no, actually, let me go back to the list. So Arvin Shipping, ship, uh, Arvin Shipbuilding Inc., they have six, they have six positions open and six LMIAs that are open. So there's a financial analyst position, there's a program manager, there's a junior project control specialist. It's a 12 month term. There's a senior supply chain specialist in Dartmouth, uh, Nova Scotia, the team lead. Uh, let me see, do they have skills, uh, trades? Look at the positions in construction. <coughs> uh, maybe I was better off. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, they so they, yeah. But do you have all these positions for constructions that are so man if you're if you're a pipe laborer, let's look at pipe laborer. Pipe laborer. Uh, pipe laborer. It tells you you can clean ground, buried pipes, clean surfaces, maintain tools, 
So experience, two to five years labor experience in civil construction industry. So if you are Mutu Amujengo, if you're into construction and you've done some of this, you know, this is a this is a good opportunity for you to look at. Good opportunity. They are not looking at, you know, you just have to have experience. That's all, that's the only thing they're looking at. Experience and then all these other skills. Not even like you've gone to school, or whatever. But that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Just have experience in construction and pipe laboring, and you're good. I, uh, okay. Well, let's go back to the list. Uh, man, this one is ending up taking up so much time than I thought. Yeah, but there is a. Uh, I guess we won't have so much time as I thought we, we would. But I think it's good to go through. So there's Nova Scotia. There's all this. So that's and basically that's the that's the idea. You know, you come in here, look at the province, uh, look at the company. You know, look at what the positions are: the cooks, laborers, food service, material hand, handlers, and this. So these are like LMA. These are companies that have applied for LMAs. But we can see nothing in the screen. Oh, um, Maura, Masharia Maura is saying, Hakuna is a new, new, new Brunswick. I think new, uh, new Brunswick is it should be here. All right, so that's Nova Scotia and uh, Masharia, just like you asked. Uh, New Brunswick, New Brunswick, you have you have it here. Truck drivers, machine machine tool operators, Clad Tech is looking for a lot of carpenters. They're looking for sixteen carpenters. So if you are a carpenter there, my friend, see, this they're looking for sixteen carpenters. Here way to so then from here. You can go to the particular website and apply. Because you can use Job Bank. Job Bank is, an, is a way. But if you actually want companies that have LMIAs, this is the best way to go about it, is to work from behind. So, Nani, uh, Masharia, what, what industry are you in? So there's a high wage industry. Wow, these carpenters is high wage. So they are, these carpenters are getting paid good money. Truck drivers, air pilots, flight engineers, truck drivers, physicians, electrician, uh, accommodation, tourism. This one looks like a, a muindi somewhere. So you get the Brapu looks like a muindi. The Bra, Brapu hospitality. And that's kind of how it's who sometimes you know. You look at the look at the name and you know uh, this is a muindi. So you might might work out for you. Look, Pramu, Pramuk. This another looks like another Anini Amuindi company here. But New Brunswick, Nani uh, Masharia, what is your... Atumejua? Masharia, by the way, when you go, uh, man, once you get there, it would be nice, man. Send me, send me, send me a message, Nani. Maura, Masharia Maura. We can talk once you get there, man, to, to talk through New Brunswick. Do, Pia, you don't hear so many people going to New Brunswick. Ah, Francis Mwangi, if you're worried about the ICD, uh, you're worried about the Nini. I have done a video on, on tracking. Go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it. Ah, yeah. But yeah, you see there's a lot of opportunities here. Food supervisors, food testers, a lot of cooks. Like this, this NB Inc. looks like it's hiring a lot of housekeepers and cooks. Cooks. Ah, yeah. uh, now I'm, I'm afraid if I give you this list that, that the agents are going to come and even con you even more. <laughs> yeah, 
Ah yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you when I come educate you people, it's like I'm giving agents more ammunition to call new people because you don't want to come and listen to my videos. I'm giving this are like so instead of going to indeed instead of going to job bank eh instead of going to job bank and indeed this can be an I, i'm gonna tell you this is a back doorway if you're already here you go to that place send go to that you know go instead of going through job bank go to that particular website company website look at them once you look at and it's very easy to look you see the way i've been doing it i've been taking their name testing it on Google, making sure the address matches. Most of these companies have websites and it'll take you there. Once you get there, there's always that tab that says careers. Once you go to careers, you can, you can tell what positions are open. But you already know. You come into the website knowing, ah yeah, these people have one LMIA and they have all these positions that are open. Ah yeah. Uh, New Brunswick, there is a yeah, there is a BKR management. Let me see this BKR management because it looks like it has food counter attendants. These are jobs that don't need a lot of qualification. Uh, let me see BKR management. The might not have BKR management. Let me see. You might not have a website. It's in New Brunswick. But like the guy who go Nani, Mashari, if you're going, this this can be a place you show up and you tell them, my guys, my guys, I wanna me, I want a job, Anna. I want a job. Oh, BKR management is here. Oh, they don't have a an actual actual website. They don't have an actual website. Ah, yeah. Let us. No, 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 no. So you don't start in job bank. You start here. Start on the list. And then when you start on the. Because job bank, you have to go search for LMIA jobs and blah, blah, blah. Some of them are. Yeah, some of them are old jobs because sometimes it takes job bank a while to update them and all that stuff. But here you're going directly through the website of the companies. And you already know these people, they've applied for LMIA and they've been approved. Hmm. Yeah, Lucy Kimani, yeah. There are jobs that are nursing jobs. Nursing jobs, there are. There are, there are, there are. Ah, yeah. let's, uh, let's keep moving, I think. Because we haven't even gotten to provinces where a lot of people, where a lot of people either are are going. Oh, Nani. Uh, so, Lucy. Lucy Kimani. So, see here, like this one. Grass Home Limited. They, they, are, they are, you know, they're hiring nurse aides, orderlies, patient something, services. So yeah, looks like a care, care nini, care kind of facility. Uh, home support workers, housekeeping, fishing. This is all New, uh, New Brunswick. New Brunswick, uh, farm, farm workers, nursery, green workers. I love for Quebec. Ah, uh, Quebec. Quebec, there's a, the, the challenge with uh, Quebec is, I think you need language because Quebec is a French-speaking province. So, hey, Kanjingo Koleb. Kanjingo Koleb, can't we have jobs for non-professionals? My friend, have you been watching this video, Ama, you've been sleeping? Have you been sleeping, Ama, what? Um, yeah? Am I talking to myself? I have talked about, like, even look at the screen right now. Eh? Look at the screen right now. We're talking about non-professional jobs. 
you can even see them looking at them. Huh? Restaurant uh, sheet metal workers, cooks, all this non-professional. Food counter attendants, kitchen help, my friend. The, Ah, yeah. Quebec, yeah, Quebec, one of the things about, uh, is it Quebec or Quebec, uh, whatever, Quebec, Quebec, is you need, there's, there's, Quebec usually has some additional uh, things that you need to consider, but it's also a French-speaking province. So, unless you are maybe well-versed in uh, French and all that stuff, looks like Canada Inc., Canada Inc. looks like there's a lot of jobs with Canada Inc. So many, like transport truck drivers. Oh, by the way, truck driving, Quebec is one of the good ones. So you can see here, this Canada Inc. is hiring transport truck drivers. There's like 33 positions that are open for truck drivers. 33 positions open for truck drivers. Quebec has, they have, they always have this additional uh, hoop you have to jump. Just because it's a French speaking. Most of the people, yeah, people there speak French. So you'll see, Maze, you'll see. Truck drivers, people were asking what truck drivers you saw. You saw. People were saying that the video is blurry. Once it's, it loads, you go back, you'll see it. It'll be clear. It'll be clear. It'll be clear. Mm. It'll be clear. Ah, yeah. So that's Quebec. Uh, Quebec again. Let's move away from Quebec. Uh, your screen must be blurry right now, but there's a lot of... Quebec has... I mean, you can see Quebec, like, all these are positions in Quebec. So many. Truck drivers. Quebec is one of the one of the best in terms of getting jobs there. That will help you change your... Change your... Nini, change your visit visa. But there you go, Quebec, Quebec. We're still at Quebec. All these, they need people. They need people. I mean, I feel like the it's like the whole list is Quebec, 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 Quebec. All these are LM, and these are LMIA, LMIAs, companies that they've applied and received. It's like wholesale. They need people like nothing. Like serious bees. Are you guys seeing this? I'm a, and this is just one quarter. You, this is just one quarter. And you even forget. <laughs> it's like it's a Quebec for the win. I I, I can't even scroll far. I have to go. Finally. Finally. Finally, we're done with Quebec. But you you have seen, I think we started like close to, we, I don't know, I don't even think we were a thousand yet, like five thousand, with multiple LMIs. Ah, yeah. Ontario, 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 Ontario. You see, there is Carpenters or oh, Canada Inc. Looks like a, a company that is hiring a lot of. Kutus loud and clear. <laughs> yeah. You're logging in from Kutus. Hey, Canada Inc. looks like. Hey, let me see this Canada Inc. and see. This Canada Inc. has a lot of positions from Quebec to. What is it? Uh... No, they don't have a website. But they are being labeled as Canada Inc. Being labeled as Canada Inc. Huh. Yeah, a lot of Ninia Canada Inc. Yeah. Are this using the same address? Let me check, make sure they. So Canada Inc. Mississauga. So this Canada Inc. are in Mississauga. But it, it helps because you have the address. And if you want to go to that particular Nini, uh, you can go there. You can go there. 
Aya. Let me look for a company in Ontario that has. So yeah, there's a lot of Nini. A lot of Canada Inc. too in Ontario. Wondering this uh, like you show up in this Mississauga office. Canada Inc. Canada Inc. Canada Inc. Ontario Limited and Canada Inc. Ontario Limited. Let's look at Ontario Limited. My game, my uh, Mr. Mr. Do the companies provide housing? They don't provide housing, but they are paying you money. So you, they are paying you money. You can get your own housing. And I, like I said, I did a video on how to get, you know, apartment prices, but also Craigslist on how you can get cheap, cheap housing, cheap housing, cheap housing. It looks like Ontario. A lot of them are like Ontario Inc. Or Ontario Limited. Ontario Inc. Ontario Limited. It's like, it's kind of why I don't like. I don't I don't like like Ontario as one of those many. Uh, some of them are actually so like this one is giving you the is giving you the company. I think they're saying Ontario Inc., but they're doing business as maybe it's one company that is filing LMIs for all these all these people. Nova Bakery. Nova Bakery doesn't have a website. Nova Bakery doesn't have a website. Ontario. Ontario, Ontario, Ontario. But yeah, looks like they, they're just they're using uh, all these inks to file for them. LMIs. I think that's what they're doing, is that they're going off uh this Canada inks to file file for lmis again you know it's harder to get jobs in like ontario than it is in other you know there it is in other provinces because ontario is crowded with people but everyone all the people are going to ontario Try and see if I can find a, a good company. Mechanical engineering technologist, Algoma Tubes Inc. Uh, let me see Algoma. Algoma Mechanical Engineers. Algoma. Uh, this this Ontario company is better. You can't even find them. You can find their websites. That's why it's like, man, don't go to Ontario, man. Find other, find other nini. Because I, I, even looking for these companies, they're like, hi, yeah, companies in companies. They're using, yeah, most of them are using like this, this, this cops or uh, companies to file for them, nini. LMIS. Brick by brick construction. Let's look for that one. See, the other ones had, like the other provinces, we didn't have any, or oh, brick by brick, we found it. Brick by brick. Uh, let me make sure. Um, you guy. You can't even. It's in a Uganda, Masaka City. Brick by brick, brick laying. Let me see. Well, let me make sure that's the same company. 
checking the address brick by brick it is east quillimbury no not the same place ah ontario 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 ah yeah uh, this i think this is a problem most people are, mo most of you are running into you are going to into ontario bana and then you apply for all these jobs bakumbe the job is being advertised by somebody on yeah so you keep sending all these emails they don't go anywhere you don't go anywhere. I saw a religious, other religious occupation. Professional occupations in religion. Oh, let, let's look at this one. Might be a good Canadian Society of Peace and Relief. It's a charity. Charity, charity, charity. Where are you? Okay, it is in uh, Mississauga, LI5. Okay, so this one, this one. Ah, yeah. Finally, we found something in Ontario. Stop sharing, then share screen. So this is Ontario, Canadian. Uh, canadianhelp.org it's a it's a non-profit it's a charity charity but they have also you know they've applied for a couple of lmis about careers so look for open positions <laughs> yeah, it looks like they have. Well, are you passionate, ambitious, tech savvy, looking to make a difference? Looks like they have one position a senior manager marketing analytics that's remote, and another one, general application. It is general application. So this one has two open positions and two LMIs, two LMIs. Yeah, so basically that's the, I am, I'm, uh, I'm kind of disappointed with the Ontario. Let's look at countryside Canas. Because they have 45 positions that are open. Countryside Canas. Yeah, and they don't have a website. Don't have a web this is where man you find ah uh, man. Ontario can be frustrating. I feel like I'm even frustrated and I'm not even in Ontario. So I would recommend go to other Nini. But otherwise, if you you know if you're looking for positions there. Uh, and then let's go to Alberta. Alberta is a, a Manitoba, Manitoba. Manitoba is cold. But again, some of these places, it will be easier for you to get jobs. Uh, Manitoba is also using the Manitoba Limited. This, this Limited, so like Subway, Manitoba Limited. Above all, Tracking Inc. For the trackers, let's see. Above all. Above all in Winnipeg. Ah, my truck drivers. Manitoba. Manitoba is cold. But again, we are not.
Uh, it's called above all, best in class transportation, contact us, a drive van, reefer, flatbed. So let's look for positions, careers, driver application. Track driver application form. So, if you want to be a company driver, so yeah, again, if you haven't watched the video on track driving, how you can come get into school and uh, and get you know get into a track driving school, get your license, laugh from that, apply for you know apply for these jobs. And tracking jobs are there, man. Tracking jobs are there. Tracking jobs are there. But yeah, looks like this is a form you fill when you want the when you want the job. But that's Manitoba. I love who stop sharing and share again. Oof. I Manitoba, I love you from Manitoba. Manitoba is just above Minnesota. Uh, Winnipeg is just above Minnesota, not Dakota. And then this Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is also a good one. Uh, so look, look, look at applying for this position. Saskatchewan is good for truck drivers. Uh, so yeah, you'll see. Even here, you'll see there's a lot of there's a lot of open positions for truck drivers in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, but also other jobs as well. Other jobs as well. Ooh, so that's Saskatchewan and then Alberta. Then Alberta, Alberta. So many money positions. I think. Come check here and then you can start from here and then go. Ooh, go forth and go. And they release this. Every quarter, every quarter they release their statements. Wow. So yeah, that is for people who are already in Canada. And I've told you, don't you know, don't apply for these jobs when you're outside. Come here. You already have the addresses. Go to those places. Yeah. Show up. Tell them. Yeah. I was a truck driver in Kenya, and. I, you know, I'm, I'm here and I, uh, I, I would love, you know, I want to get into driving school and get my license, but you know, I've looked, I've looked at you. I've really, I, I really value, I, yeah, I am impressed with your company. I would love to work for your company. Some of this, some of these conversations having, these are like, that's a conversation. It's a wise conversation to have with like someone who's that because they'll, they'll sit down with you and they'll talk to you. They're always looking for drivers. Drivers, companies are always looking for company drivers. Yeah? And some of this, eh, that, that, that's why I tell, maybe stay away from Ontario. Man. Look for other, look for other provinces. They have more opportunities, easier for you to get jobs. You're not struggling so much. The, the problem is you have so many people in Ontario. Hmm? So many people in Ontario. And a lot of times you see some of these companies, even when they're applying, they're applying they're using another company to apply for, for them, LMIA. And so some of this are like, some of these things are like, that's why you go, you'll find, oh, you go, go to the company, they tell you, okay, you have to go through this person for you to, that is what a lot of people are being told. You have to go through this person. You go, you go to the actual company, this is Ontario. You go to the company and they tell you, okay, you have to go through this person. Then when you go to that other person, uh, they tell you, okay, you need to pay this, ma this money, and then I can connect you to this job. So then, <laughs> then you're being the agent in Kenya. Why, why, yeah? <laughs> Took your money. Then you come to Canada, you find another nini. They, this one's now. Or oh, you, want, you want a job that, you know, that has LMIA. Yeah, you need to pay this much money. Mm. You spent all your money in the agent in Kenya. You don't have any money. You go, you de go, you decrease, decrease demand. 
demand. Demand everybody needs money, money, money. It's because eh, information is picking. Picking information. That's why you need diversify. Me apply to actually too. When you apply to other provinces, your chances of your visit visa getting approved is much higher, but also much quicker than just applying for Ontario. Because everybody is everybody knows Toronto. Everybody wants to go to Toronto. Toronto. Why? And there's all these other places that you'll it'll be easier for you. It'll be easier for you. Once you once you go to, you know, you start all these pla- other places. Once you go there, you you know, you get your work permit. Oh, after some time, apply, you know, apply for your, your permanent residency. After that, you can move anywhere you want. Okay? These jobs, LMI jobs, they tie you. It's a closed work permit. That means you have to work for that particular employer. And then you do that because, you know, even you don't care how much money they pay you because ultimately all you want is to finally get your LPR, your, your permanent residency. Your legal permanent residency status. Once you get that, you can move anywhere you want in Canada. Because now you have a permanent residency, you can get any jobs. You don't have to worry about uh, getting a temporary work visa. Getting a temporary work visa. Now with a, with a permanent residency, you can work anywhere. Apply for any job. But in the beginning, my friend, you have to be willing to get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. Get to work. It is not easy. That's Alberta, Vancouver. Vancouver, one of the things I don't like about Vancouver, a lot of people right now in Vancouver are struggling, man. So, hey, Vancouver, even school, some people, they go to Vancouver, man. It's Unless you're like, you know, in the city, some people get thrown into... Alafu, don't go to rural places in Canada, man. Hey, go to like Akinakam Loops there. It's like... Opportunities are very limited. Opportunities are very limited, man, Pia. So, do, yeah, Alafu, look at Vancouver. Vancouver, not so many Kenyans there, but also the cost of living extremely high. Cost of living extremely high in Vancouver. Man, getting accommodation is like, man. Same thing with Ontario. But then it gets better. You go to somewhere like Alberta, New Brunswick. Okay, Saskatchewan. These places are, and you, you're only putting yourself in, digging yourself, you know, going there, you'll survive, do your job, work. Yeah. Sometimes you go there and you realize, oh my God, I don't even want to go anywhere else. I want to stay here. I don't want to go to where my Kenyan people are. I want to stay here because I have opportunity to make more money and stuff. And <clears throat> That's about it. I think I, where, I had lofty goals of things to talk about, but I think we covered that. I think we covered, we covered that. This video is going to be helpful for you. Uh, Hopefully it's been helpful. If there's anything, I'm trying to open your eyes that way. You know, you know, man, you need to, you need to send yourself. Send yourself. You You need to, you need to, man, you need to initiate, initiate. Otherwise, things are not going to happen, Bana. Things are not going to happen. This is a good, yeah, man, two hours. I think it, it's it's went by fast, but uh, I think it was very helpful. Hopefully, it's going to help somebody open someone's eyes. Yeah. But people who keep saying, oh, changing visitor visa to work visa is very difficult. One of your biggest problems is because you're probably stuck in a province that has too many people going for the same opportunities diversify go to go to places where they are looking for you go to places where they are looking for you at what which province do i need to visit as a, you can visit any you can visit saskatchewan you can find a reason yeah all you need to do is just go to google go to google and see, like if you, go, I go to Google. I have some people have never heard of Saskatchewan because it sounds like escape from Sobibo. Not <laughs> escape from Sobibo. Uh, so one of the things I always do is like top ten things to do 
in Saskatchewan. You, you, you Google that, you know, find information. Okay. There's Saskatoon, there's uh, Regina. Mm -hmm. Top attractions in top attractions in Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah, let me share my screen. I know some people are as visual as I am. So all you just need to do is Google. Google, Google, Google. Google or I've given you information here. All these have given you information, by the way. If you go to look at the Canadian playlist, you'll see all this information there. I did this when I was doing the visit to visa. Kind of talked through some of these things, how you can you can get accommodations, oh, stuff like that. So see, this is Saskatchewan. So first of all, it tells you, okay, ah, yeah. you Google something like this, TripAdvisor gives you, you know, gives you different things. Okay. Uh, there's, you know, there's water bodies and stuff and stuff, but then, okay, what are the popular cities in Saskatchewan? See, there's Saskatoon, there's Regina, most job Prince Albert, okay? And then ways to tour Saskatchewan. Ways to tour Saskatchewan. There's, uh, I guess, you know, Chicago Connection. Chicago Connection. So these are some of the things you can, you know, guide and stuff. But what are like the top, what are the top attractions in Saskatchewan? See, there's a Stone, Stone Hall Castle. You can always come up with, you know, why do you want to go build, build, uh, you know, visit the Stone Stone Hall ca Castle? There's tunnels of Moose Jaw. I'm sure if you look more into that, you'll find, you know, there's a Western Development Museum. Uh, uh, if you're into, you know, museums, looks like they do have a couple. There's a Royal Saskatchewan uh, Museum. There's a you can go to Central Park. There's a Heritage Center. Oh, you know, and think about, you know, what, how, yeah, you see there's a lot of museums. Museums. There's a zoo. Uh, Saskatoon Forestry Farm Park Zoo. Uh, uh, University of Saskatchewan, if you're looking for, you know, schools and uh, so, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Some of the things, like, I think I told you, if you uh if you like let's say bird watching if you're a bird watcher in Sas saskatchewan i'm sure that saskatchewan has uh has some good birds that are all right so let me show you this all you need to do is just be more be creative be creative be creative. So let me share this other thing on tourism, Saskatchewan. So this is what most tourism, tour, uh, most tour, uh, tourists go to do in uh, in Saskatchewan. So they do have their own website there on things to do. So it, it looks like, you know, they have this museum that has birds the Prince Albert National Park Center. You can go there and, you know, and enjoy, enjoy that. Uh, Prince Albert is a national, national park. So if you are like, let's say you are, you, you enjoy taking pictures of uh, birds, like in your days, uh, you can do that. You can, so Last Mountain Lake National Wildlife Area, you can go there and look for like, Birds that are only found in Canada, in Saskatchewan. Beaver Creek conversation. Con there is a Saskatchewan Burrowing Owl Interpretive Center. See, like this one? I'm very sure if you have a good story on owls, maybe you, you, you go around the world looking for owls. That, you know? And so forth and so on. So on and so forth. So... Or maybe going to see animals that see. See, like this, they have the Yellowhead Flyway Birding Trail. 
Richard, just depends on what you want. Look for it and you'll find it. Look for it, you'll find it. What? Why do you need to go visit? Yeah. Can be whatever. Find a, find a niche. Find something that is unique in that particular place and you can find a reason. Find a reason to, to go visit Aya. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so you can apply for, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's what Julie Chege is saying here. Julie Chege is saying, point to note, highly populated provinces, job opportunities are more competitive than lower populated provinces like Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, ETC. So it is much easier for you, especially when you're going there, you just want to change your visit visa to a work visa. Then go to somewhere, go somewhere where there is nini. Go somewhere where it's easier for you to find those jobs and to change your name. And some of these less populated provinces, a lot of them have what is called uh, provincial nominations. So you'll go there. Not only jobs, provincial nominations will give you the opportunity to get a to get a full no get a get a get a work permit. Work permit that is not closed. You don't even you, so provincial. Provincial nominations helps you get a jobs that don't have LMIAs. So that means you'll get an open work permit. You can work. You can work, move from one employer to the next. And this, you can only find this in some of the, some of the lower populated uh, provinces. But you can't find like, there are not very many provincial nominations in like Toronto. Huh? But maybe Saskatoon or Regina, there might be, you know, there might be some. So, yeah. Aya, Aya. Me, Marion, I want to apply for visitor visa. Oh, it's, yeah, I, I showed you, Marion. Very easy. I have this video on my YouTube channel that is a step-by-step -step video on applying for the visitor visa. Very easy for you to do. You don't even have to pay anybody to do it. Ah, yeah. Uh, which province? <laughs> I think I have answered that. Uh, Julie Samson saying it has been a helpful chat. Thank you big time. Ah, yeah. Man, hopefully, hopefully, man, this helps you. Hopefully this helps you. Any final comments or questions before we wrap this up? Before we wrap this up? Any final questions? Otherwise, man, before you leave, if you haven't followed me, make sure you follow me. Make sure you follow me. Make sure you follow me. I, I try and go and dig in. I didn't even talk about flag polling. I guess flag polling is a topic for another day. Uh, flag polling, I don't know if I should. Uh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, I should probably, because this is like two hours in. Flag polling is a way that you can also change your status. But I don't think I don't think I want to go. I don't think I want to go much uh, into flag polling today. Let's do flag polling a different day and and also let's do the uh, the J1 visa camp counselor another day camp counselor another day i to 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 someone needed someone needed visa analysis Tishbit, uh, I did not get what you mean by that. Did not get what you need, mean by someone needed visa analysis. Ooh. I, sa sa, wo, my people, my people, my people, my, thank you for you know, thank you for tuning in, and uh, may I hope hope you, if we don't see each, I know, I know I'll be doing, I'm probably bringing, I'm bringing a nurse. On Sunday for sure, but I know I'll bring. I'll try and bring uh, one or two people before the year ends. So the nurse that I'm bringing is going to be talking about his experience moving from uh, Kenya to the U.S. Moving from Kenya to the U.S. I'll also try and see. Uh, there's another nurse who came with a with a U.S. visitor visa, and they changed it to the EB3 EB3 visa through nursing, through nursing. Otherwise, my people, man, uh, fee the visa. 
or Visa Good and Bad Days. The Visa Good and Bad Days is, is on my TikTok. If you go to my TikTok, uh, go to my profile, profile page on TikTok, and then look under series. If you look under series, you'll see it. You'll see the series there for the good and the bad days. Good and the bad days. Aya. Fit is out of my people. Let me let me log off. Go see what the family is up to. But stay blessed, my people. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. And I wish you if we don't see each other. But before the before next year, hope you have a good, 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 good rest of your year. But otherwise, man, me, now Penda. I love you. Love you guys. And until next time, man. Shukran. Shukran. Sinivo watuangu. Yeah? Nakamenyuria. Fitty man. Fitty man, fitty man, fitty man.